Okay, here's a little overview. So from Mrs. Waugh's uh, information on Sir John A. MacDonald, I opened the encyclopedia one, which is the densest one. Um, so uh, here it is. To show you how to simplify, we go to the top um, where there's the little puzzle button, click on that, bring up Google Read and Write. Uh, it takes a few moments for the power bar to load. Um, the simplify button is right here. So click on that, it will generate a new tab um, where it takes out all the visuals, which really helps with his overwhelm. It helps him see the headings and how the text is organized. There is a level in here where you can change um, the level of the content. Uh, I don't find he needs that. I find the headings are really helpful for him. Okay, so leave it as it is. Um, we have increased the font size at times to just make it a little bit uh, less um, intense for him when he's reading it. He also has the ability to use uh, the talk to text to have it read it to him. Okay, he just has to find the location he wants to start on the page, um, and it will be- Sir, John A. McDonald was Canada. So we just slowed that down and gave it a voice that he liked. Okay, so this is his simplified text. So basically from here, um, he needs help learning uh, how to look for the headings that he wants. You know, he can skip the early life. What are we looking for, William? We're looking for um, stuff related to his uh, job as prime minister. Right here, I'm looking for indigenous. I haven't found a way that I can search for tight keywords, but I think usually just having somebody help him find it has been useful. Um, okay, so within this, if we go and find um, out about the Western settlement and such, um, Okay, so let's just find a place that we can highlight because I want to show you how we can collate notes. So in here, if we wanted to put, um, he really wanted to ensure completion, let's say that's a good thing, okay? So usually if we're saying, if I know that the research topic has like a pro and a con or something like that, or different areas, I try to highlight them in different colors because the notes will collate. So anything positive for Willie, we highlight it in blue. Um, and then anything uh, that was a little bit more challenging, not challenging, anything that was, uh, why should we take down the statues, we highlighted in red, okay? So blue was why would we keep the statues, um, this is not a true blue, and uh, purple was things that, um, reasons why we might take down the statues. So we go through the document, the entire document, um, me talking to him about it, helping with highlighting, because that's the level he's at right now. He's not really able to manage the document and highlight himself, because he actually thinks this is more work. Um, instead of realizing that it's beneficial, which he will just with more practice. Once things are highlighted, the tab right here that looks a little bit like a recycling symbol is the collate. Um, we want to collate it by color. Yes, thank you. It takes a moment for it to happen, and then it's going to organize it on a separate Google Doc uh, according to the colors. So that meant for him that all of the why should we keep the statues were at the top, and why would we remove the statues were at the bottom, and it gives him the link which he can then use in citations. He can find that again in order to put it into his citation maker. Um, and what he doesn't like is to have a lot of separate docs. So basically from here, um, it's called the highlights of Sir John A. MacDonald for the other ones that we did. So I just take the one from the most recent document that he's talked about, um, and I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to pop it in here at the top, um, and there it is, okay? And then once everything's in there, he knows that um, it's now at least organized by pros and cons, and so just to decrease the uh, visual of it, again, we just remove the highlights, which is this sweet button at the top, highlight all the highlights and remove it, okay? So that's how um, all those highlighted things are removed, removed for him so that he can work with that. Uh, then the only other thing from this doc is that um, I tend to just make it a little bit bigger for him so he can see it a little bit better. Again, we can go to the top if he wants to have Google Read and Write read it out loud to him before he starts to work with that. He can. The Google Read, read and Write bar um, should appear. Maybe it's because, yeah, sorry, it's because I had it too big. So the Google Read and Write bar will appear. He can start at the top, find your place where you want to begin, press play, and it'll read it to Defenders him. of McDonald. He has headphones so that he can listen to all this in class or in tutorial if he wishes. So 
Then from this, he has all the information that he's grabbed from the various um, sources that have been provided for him. He can read this, it's not overwhelming, um, and then he can move that, the information that he's found. He was successful in moving it into two of uh, the my notes uh, that Ms. Wall had created, the point evidence analysis. He did one pro and one con tonight. That was about what he could manage. He was feeling pretty overwhelmed, um, and so we'll just keep chugging away, having him do two a night until we've gotten to the stage where Mrs. Wah says he has enough. Thanks so much. Bye.